Anthony, it's nice to have you in town to talk directly to the travel agents because one of the things that I would like you to address, Alaska. There's a lot of capacity to Alaska and now Cunard is also going to Alaska. So if a travel agent has a client for Alaska, why should they recommend Cunard over and above some of the other competitors? Well, so you know, I also wear another hat for Princess Cruises, yes. but which I'm not going to talk about. So of course, we do a great job there. But Alaska for Cunard, uh, first of all, Alaska, if you haven't been, is incredibly majestic. I think you've been. It's mm. incredible the way the mountains just go right into the ocean. And uh, it's just a beautiful part of the world. And so you're in a majestic part of the world on an incredibly majestic ship. It's Queen Elizabeth. Uh, so that's one thing that um, I think is uh, it's a real a good selling. It's a nice match to experience the glaciers and experience the beautiful views aboard that beautiful ship. I totally agree with you. So that's one reason. Uh, the other thing is you might have some Cunard guests who are looking to do something new. So this would be wonderful uh, repeat uh, product for them. Okay. Uh, but one of the things I really like about it is it's just four 10-day sailings round trip from Vancouver. So the Canadians have really jumped on this. There was an, a lot of interest initially, mm -hmm. uh, but there's still a lot of space. Uh, so these sailings start from late May 2019 and run through late June of 2019. So four 10-day sailings, round trip. We stop in Victoria, we go to Sitka. Uh, you can add a pre or post with our friends at Rocky Mountaineer and see the majestic Canadian Rockies. Beautiful. So I think it's a really incredible uh, itinerary to recommend to your clients, people who are either thinking of going to Alaska, this could be in the mix, or somebody who's looking to do something new and different, this is something to recommend to them. And talk to me about the grills, because if you have a client that is more of a luxury client and wants to do Alaska, why not? Luxury people like that kind of thing too, of right? Course. I think so. So <laughs> if they book in the grills, they, they will get a luxury experience over and above and they'll get some inclusions, correct? Correct. So one of the things we love to say about Cunard is it's luxury on a grand scale. Right. And so a lot of times people just assume luxury means a tiny ship. But, but a large ship can do things that tiny ships can't, right? The spa's bigger, the casino's bigger, there's more entertainment venues. So luxury on a grand scale. Um, and the beauty of Cunard is that I like to say it's two ships in one because you've got these grill suites. We've got Princess Grill and Queen's Grill. They start at about $500 to $1,000 per person per day. So we have a sister company, Seaborn. So that's right in there in that price point. In fact, our Queen's Grills come with a butler. Uh, but yet you've got all is of that, these. Is James and others like James. Um, James is my personal butler, though. Oh, so he, excuse yeah, me. He just comes oh, with wow. me wherever I nice. go. So, uh, um, but anyway, so the grill suites are very special. They come with their own uh, dining rooms or some private areas of the ship. But the reality is the ship is open to everybody on board. If you're in an inside cabin, you could be in an inside cabin. When you go to give your, you know, when you go to the bar or you go to order something at any, at any of the venues, nobody knows if you're a grill guest or not. So everybody's treated I like see. they are a grill guest. So that's actually very unique about Cunard. So the great thing about the grills is we've never been a real all-inclusive product. Uh, but when we're competing in that space with other ultra luxury products and charging 500 to 1,000 uh, dollars per person per day right. and up, we've uh, lately started including free gratuities and free drinks in the grill suites. So that's, that's a relatively new development. So with all of our promotions coming out, we're going to keep highlighting free drinks, free gratuities in the grill suites. And you have a special offer out in the market right now as well, correct? We do have a special, uh, we always have two offers going on. We have a strategic sale, so that's pushing next summer uh, all the way through uh, 2020, and that's three for all. <clears throat> and so on three for all, we're including upgrades, we're including onboard credits, and we're including gratuities. And then of course the grill suites get the free drinks. And that sale runs through uh, late November. And then we also have a World of Adventure sale. So that is more of our tactical sale. So we're looking at late fall 2018 and all the way through um, actually what we consider spring 2019. Our Alaska sailings are actually included in that. That's more of a tactical price uh, promotion. So World of Adventure sale for close and stock, three for all for uh, the, the next summer and beyond. One of the things I failed to ask you about is the educational programs to Alaska because I think Cunard does such a good job um, with those types of programs. Is there anything specific to Alaska that you offer? 
Uh, well, we actually just in, uh, announced the lineup for all of the onboard lectures. We in, okay. announced all of the short excursions. And so we've got a lot of special things that are really unique and done in the Cunard style. So by Cunard is something that we, so nice. we'll do Alaska by Cunard. Oh, so there's, I love that. Like isn't a that signature. Great? Yes, exactly. beautiful design by, by Cunard. Cunard. Right. So we've got a lot of Alaska by Cunard nice. unique offers that we have going on that we've just recently announced. World cruises, tell me about that because I find that so exciting to be sailing around the world on a Cunard ship. So uh, world cruises is something that we dominate. We've got three ships uh, and we go all over the world. So for 2020, and so this is the time to really start selling 2020 world cruises. So this is a time when people who actually want to take 109 days off or 105 days off and cruise the world, this is when they actually start thinking about that. Um, and so now's a really good time to sell it. So for full, full world cruise, we include a lot of extras. We include what we call hotel and dining charges, so the gratuities, that's included already. There's a lot of private parties onshore and, uh, and on board. Um, but if you book early, and our early booking cutoff is the end of the year, so December 31st, uh, we'll also include up to $3,000 onboard credit. We include complimentary laundry. So these are really big savings nice. that, that we offer. And so. Uh, the, the thing about World Cruise is the market for that tends to be people who maybe might be snowbirds, right? They go to Florida for three months. Right. Of and course. so instead of going to Florida for three months, why don't you jump on a ship on a per person per day basis? It's probably a better deal. Your meals are included, your, your uh, entertainment's included. And just to give you an idea of pricing for Queen Victoria in 2020, she's going to do a uh, circumnavigation of South America. Nice. I want to say the lead rates on that, it's a lead rate, so it's an inside. Started about sixteen thousand U.S. per person, and that's for a hundred and like about one hundred and nine days on that. Yeah. So anyway, so great deal. Queen Mary Two is going to do a little bit of a different world cruise. She's going to go eastbound, so she'll go from New York to Southampton through the Mediterranean Red Sea up to Hong Kong, around Australia, down to South Africa, up the west coast of Africa, and so that's the world cruise on. Uh, can I book you? I think I saw your credit card. <laughs> It's just a $100 deposit. You, you know that I have such a weakness for, for James right. and for Cunard, and, and of me. course. Yes, and, and you, Anthony, it's so true. Yeah, no, I love it. And you have a few specialty cruises. Tell us about those, because those are kind of cute. So we, we have a few specialty cruises that we've done over the last couple of years, and some of our, some of our most popular ones, we have a uh, Voyage du Vent, so we'll do a wine cruise through mm. the Mediterranean, so that's popular. Fashion Week has been great. So you mm -hmm. start in in, uh, in London and cruise your way, and, and it, it meets up with, by the time it arrives in New York, it's the start of Fashion Week in New York. So it's really fun, fun. that's popular. We have one with Ancestry.com. So you spend your time uh, learning a little bit about how to do genealogy, and then when you get off the ship in New York, we do some tours and some functions with Ellis Island. Oh. So that's been really, really interesting. So we do a few of them. Uh, there's a big band one. I think it's a short four or five day cruise to Hamburg, but it's a ba big band cruise. So there's a lot of fun specialty ones. It's in the back of the brochure. For all the dancers. We also have it on one source. So. Beautiful. All right. The moral of the story is if you're going to sell Alaska, think Cunard. Think Cunard. Think of a majestic ship. Voyages of Discovery in Grand Style. Thank you so much, Anthony. Thank you.